from New York. Ebro in the morning. On Hot 97. Ebro in the morning. Laura Styles. What does your shirt say, Laura Styles? It says, don't be a dick. Talking about male genitalia <laughs> on your boobs right there. What's going on? <laughs> It's a public service announcement. Yo, Kendrick Don't Nutt Hugger T. Rosenberg. Pray for me, man. Pray for me. Just says Nobody's pray for praying for me. Ain't nobody praying for me. Yo, and legend in the game. Give it up for Kevin Little right here. Yeah. Kevin Little right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, man. You're definitely Soka. Soka's your lane. Do you consider yourself a Soka artist? Yeah, you can. Well, I consider myself an international artist. I mean, I'm from the Caribbean, and Soka music is what I broke into the, okay. the world stage with. Yeah. You know, um, my intention was to cross over soca music because I, I I loved R&B and loved the reggae dance hall and all that, including soca. But the thing is that soca music was not getting that kind of international um, fame. So I decided, let me try something. I created a formula with putting the R&B that I love into soca music with a little bit of dance hall. And here I am today. Um, <laughs> so where are you from? I'm from the island of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Got it, got yeah, it. Man. So, and and so, um, as considering yourself an international artist, I know you have a new record, but obviously the classic record. I, I mean, I'm sure you turn me it, on. Yeah, turn man. me on. You, how yeah. many how many copies that sell? Oh my God. Uh, wow, it, it sold about six million copies worldwide mm, right now. Not too shabby. Yeah, because <laughs> it's like the first week alone, um, in the UK, we sold a million, um, singles. And then in the U.S. we did gold that year, and uh, another five hundred thousand. Yeah, and then internationally we did a million. So by the the first year, it had already gone two point five. And everyone three. should know because yeah. "Turn Me On" is not an old old song, but it's what, fourteen years old, something like that. Now? Yeah, yeah, two thousand four. It predates wow. iTunes, though. Mm, correct. Yeah. Yeah. So this, you're talking about people were going out and buying the the CD single yeah. or the vinyl. Rail sales. I was one of those who got rail the rail sales. sales. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what else that means? That also means it was more than 99 cents a pop. Uh, Fashion upside. Yeah, oh, yeah. That yeah. record was five ninety nine. The single was selling at, I think, like either three, three pungs. So you know that translates to so about four or five USD. Yep. So right there we made like a five mil. Atl Atlantic made a five mil. I don't know what I mean. Right, right. <laughs> wait, so I know I mean, that record. So wait, you don't feel like you got your percentages right from Atlantic? Well, at let's the time? not get into that argument. I don't want to get into that argument. Why is, is there like are you pursuing? You still go you still have to go and look at the books and hey, yeah, where's mine? Yeah, I haven't seen the books yet because I'm still recouping according to them. So, you know, you know how it goes with these majors. Wait, so you're saying you never made money after that from them? Well, from them. From the sales, I mean. Not, yeah. You yeah. made money on shows, of course. Yeah. But on sales, I've never you seen never a cent, fully recouped. Never seen a cent from them. They've never, they've sent me statements. I've not seen, a, they've not sent me anything that says, okay, you made some money. Well, so after <laughs> six million wait, wait, wait. sales. That yeah. sounds We're crazy. We're talking crazy Let's all stop worldwide. for a second. When he says recoup, he's talking about the money that the record label lends you to promote your project, to pr produce your project. Yeah. The money that they lent you. Yeah. Six million sales of a hit smash okay. song across let's, genres let's, wasn't enough let's to Let's do recoup. the math. Let's do Let me do the math. Real quick, real quick. How much does a single sell for? Between three and six dollars. So we'll say, we'll call it four fifty. Four, yeah. All four fifty. Six million times four dollars and fifty cents around 30 million dollars i believe 27 million dollars. okay but hold on the album was selling for at least ten dollars and what did the album sell? the album sold half of that right now three million two million two, two million? million the first year and how much did the album sell for at least ten dollars at least ten dollars <laughs> okay ten dollars <laughs> times you said two million yeah okay two million to I can help you with that one, Ebro. It's not that hard. It's twenty million dollars. Is that twenty million? There you go. On so top 50, of the twenty, so about 50 47, million. forty-seven million dollars has been made off. Yeah, your name, the yeah. song, and you wrote the song. Yeah, no, but you see, I, I, I have my publishing. So I get my publishing. So you get that. Yeah, definitely. But now, what is this called? It's called the... This is the royalties, the royalty sales. Royalty sales. I've never seen because, the, well, the way that the, in those days the contract was set up that they were, they were recouping from my amount before I can get paid. So right, whatever yeah. so they, they... They need to make their money from what they gave you in advance. Which first. Is, what was yeah. your advance? Times two. It was, it was less than two mil. Less what? than $2 million advance. Yeah, yeah, and the first week they made five. <laughs> so, hey... 
Okay, so how are we going to say, you know? I'm just but, trying to figure this out. This is crazy to me. I mean, yeah, but these things happen, man. I know, I've heard them. It happens all the but time. But I mean, that's why I like dealing with the hard numbers. And I'm glad yeah. I got somebody who could say, look, they gave me $2 million. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I've made, I know based on the numbers that the RIAA, that yeah. sales yeah. of the single, X amount of dollars. Yeah. The album, X amount of dollars. Based on my calculations on my trusty iPhone, that's 47 million dollars and exactly. even so even if we subtract the amount for production cost like physical production of the of no well the, the, the number i gave you included all that that includes all yeah that. So you had to do that yourself no they 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 did that with me you know they 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 took care of the studio we we recorded that album at south beach studios how much in champagne Miami. how much champagne did you drink? Nah, man i don't even drink two like million that. dollars in champagne. i don't even drink like that i drink i drink a little red wine every day the the allotted amount that a what meal kind of have. red wine uh cabernet Nice. What year? Uh, All right. What are you talking about? <laughs> hey, real quick. Because it might be a year too. You <laughs> drank five million dollars of red wine. Nineteen oh, twenty-six. No I wasn't even drinking that much in those days because okay, so I hardly drink. Anybody that 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 knows me would tell you, "Yo, Kevin Little doesn't drink." Yeah. Yo, so Kevin. <laughs> yeah, Kevin, but real Kevin quick. Had, okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Real, well, one question. From that time period, mm -hmm. did, were you still able to? And not to get all in your business, but I have to know this. Yeah. Were you able to become a millionaire? Did you still become a millionaire? Well, I ain't broke. I could say that. You're not broke. I, no, but I'm back broke, then, yeah. did you become a millionaire? Were you able in the years that followed to at least have a yes, million dollars? Yes, of course, of course. I have to look at my trusty manager over there, you know. Yeah, when I'm divulging numbers, I have to make sure that, you know. Man, I, yeah. Look at your life manager. But, yeah, yeah. But so you still did fine. Yes, but, I did fine. But it was just the royalties were not what you think they should have been. Well, definitely not. Because even if we're being heavy-handed with those numbers and you subtract mm. a lot from it, that you still have to think he would have at least there's recouped and made be, money. There's gotta be. Listen, after forty-seven million, there's gotta be four million dollars somewhere. Call Craig Kalman. We call Craig Kalman. Yeah, but right I, my question to you <laughs> was that. How you know it's Craig Kalman that signed me? That's Atlantic. I didn't know he signed you. Yeah, he well, was Craig the one Cal that ENA'd well, my project and everything. Well, Craig oh, really? Kalman yeah. has done most of the reggae since his big beat yeah. days and all that. Craig Kalman has done most of those those deals. So he, yeah. oh, he and he did actually sign you as well. Yes, he's the one that we did the deal with back in the day, and and Craig Craig really worked this project really hard. You know what I'm saying? I gotta give him that. You know. What so I mean? okay, yeah. so let's take out 15 million for his hard work. <laughs> 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 so now we're down to. <laughs> he worked very hard. Very hard. 50, very hard, man. <laughs> Kevin Little, you have a new project. Laura, you had a question before. No, we I just I just wanted to know at any point because because this to it seems so unfair to me. Did you yeah. want Did you want to fight this? No, we have been. We I have been. But you know, as usual, you always get that. Oh, he hasn't recouped yet. Uh, but you we have can't. The proof. We can't find the books. The books there somewhere in a warehouse somewhere, and that's so long ago. And da -da 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 -da, and statutes of limitations, all kind of stuff get thrown at you. But at the end of the day, and it costs you money because mm -hmm. you have yeah. to spend money to go get that money. You see, one thing I would say, you know, back in those days, everything was focused on getting a major deal. You know, so at the time. I could have actually done this project on my own because the song was so big just with us pushing it. But at the time, everybody was like, yo, you got to get a major behind this. You need a major. So that's how you end up in that right. kind of a trap. Yeah. And then you don't know all the, all the run-ins. You know, I come from a little island in the Caribbean yeah. and then I get pushed to this lawyer and then you find out the lawyer is, man is, is helping your management too. Your lawyer yeah. is not only man is your lawyer, but is your manager's lawyer, conflict and then it's all kind of conflict of interest and all kind of things start coming out in the long run when you start asking questions. So you know, I mean, I think everybody has to go through this. Not saying I'm not gonna go get my money, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but fine. you know, but I think a, a lot of young artists go through this. You know, in the beginning, especially if you have a little bit of education, you know, you think you can handle it, but then. When it does come down to it, the beast that you have to deal with, you get shafted somewhere along the way. Well, and the reason he's smiling, let's be honest, um, <laughs> he's got sandals on all the time. <laughs> right now, he's got, he, Kevin Little is literally always on vacation. I mean, he so looks like he's just on vacation. You can't be that upset. Now, if you lived in, if you lived in the Bronx somewhere and wore Timberlands every day, you're going to stomp somebody out, but not Kevin Little. No, he's oh, living no, in But real quick, Little. the song is still, that's an Atlantic song, and you don't ha you still aren't getting anything on it. Oh, no. I own the publishing of the song. So the 62 so, million Spotify plays for Turn Me On, 
you still are getting money on that. Oh yeah. Okay, good. I get my song That's a lot of change. I get everything. You, you know what I'm saying? I just looked that up. How many, I was just curious. Yeah. How many plays on Spotify? Sixty-two million. But but based on how those royalty works on streaming, what it's I'm hearing from artists still not a is ton. basically like sixty-two dollars. Right. right. <laughs> well, no, it's a little better than that. But yes, I hear you. <laughs> that's what I'm told. Anyway, they get point zero zero one it's, cent or something for each it's play low. or something. What is 4, it? Four thousand plays equals one million plays equals four thousand dollars. Well. Wait, say one more time. One million plays is four thousand dollars. All right, so oh, wow. so what's four thousand so, times sixty-two? <laughs> no, mo divided by, divided by. No, no times. No. Yes, times. So four thousand times sixty-two. So that those plays have still got two hundred fifty thousand dollars from Spotify. That's good, and that's, that's just nice. Spotify. There's the Apple Music plays and there's titles. Pandora, Pandora, Pandora yeah. plays. So, you know, and the touring is doing good. You know he's fine. No, he looks very clean okay. together. You know. He's got sandals. Look at his I'm gonna I'm I'm do that. My boy AD MBA. Yeah. He is on vacation. Yo, I'm, you, I'm okay. You, you know. have you have like sunscreen in your pocket right now. <laughs> <laughs> he's on vacation. Flip Yo, up. well, here what I live in Miami, so you don't know what's going on right there. Right. You know, sun all day, and that's what life. I like. Yeah, you know, what I mean, the thing is, I want to feel like I'm home. The only reason that I didn't live in my country is because I needed to travel so much. You know, all the shows and all that, and then hopping from airport to airport to get from St. Vincent is not Very the hard. most conducive. And how close is Miami to St. Vincent? Uh, three and a half hours. So it's still easy flying. to go home. Yeah. Well, we now got an international airport, so if I do fly direct soon, it will be three and a half hours. But well, so how do you do it down? You have to I have to go through Trinidad or Antigua or Barbados. Got you it, know, got it, got it. yeah. You don't look like you've gotten old either, so I'm, I'm sure you're not that stressed. <coughs> You well, haven't you know, aged. You haven't aged in the last 14 years. I can years. say the same about you, man. You see all this great? Dog, Come on, man. Dog, dog you trying to look old. That's because you trying to look old. <laughs> you know it. Nah, he's calling <laughs> you, you out. And he's trying to, look, trying to look old. Yeah, you, you know, he, he's trying to do the wise thing, you know. He's Thanks. giving you the wisdom face. Oh, so I'm supposed to dye it dark? <laughs> if, uh, yeah, I, mean, I feel like that's trying to look young. Which way? You got to pick a side. That's here. a very good point. I'm somewhere in the middle. Because, you know, I got to walk Look, hairline still intact. My hairline gone, daddy. Yeah, your hairline. <laughs> but that I'm looks like it's been shaved because I'm seeing the little... I mean, yeah, but you don't want to see what happens if we look at <laughs> George Jefferson. You don't want to see what happens. I actually really do. Just I'm, out of curiosity. How much would you pay to have Eber let it grow out for about six months and just let that come in? <laughs> Yo, you claim you want to be old man, right? Then do it. <laughs> Go in. Go all the way in. Hilarious. Kevin Little, what's the name of the new album? The new single is called oh. Slow Motion. So we just focused on the single. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, well, well, the thing is, I got albums sitting down in my library waiting to be released. So most likely the album to come, which I'm looking to do next year, is going to be a compilation of all kind of different material from the past and what I do now in the present. But right now, Slow Motion is what it's all about, my new single. And are you not, you're not, this is all you working as independent. We're not running that same major label play again, are we? Um. Well, it's, it's still the same major label play in the sense that I have my own independent label that worked the project originally, and now we have a major situation with Ultra, Sony Ultra. Okay. So it's right. a partnership. Uh, 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 am I saying it right? Yeah, okay. Joint venture? Uh, partnership. 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 Okay. Yeah, partnership. But the paperwork is better. Yeah, it's better. Much <laughs> the better. paperwork is much You know, better. with the wife, you know what I'm saying? You know, she's, she's on it. Uh, she's like, yeah, how long, how, long have you guys, how long have you guys been together? Been wife since 2006. So she's been keeping an eye on everything now for over, for over mm -hmm. a decade, making sure everything's smooth. That's We're how I got back here, man, because it, it's been a fight for me. You know, it's been a struggle for me because, you know, in the beginning, when I got all this success, not knowing the nature of the beast, like I said before, I got involved with, you know, it's easy to look in from Little St. Vincent and Hear all the Hot 97s, yeah, back yeah. in those days, Angie Martinez yeah, and yeah, all of that. Yeah. And then you reach there and you're like, holy shit, this is a lot more complicated than I thought. And then you got this big success and then all of a sudden, the machine that gave you the success just leaves you. And now you got you to gotta figure yourself out. Mm. You know, never living in America, never knowing how the... Because the, the, in America, taxes, all these different things you got to know... You know, you got to get a social security number. You got to figure out all these things. And that's the person that saved me right there. It's a lot. That is a lot. Because do. she was here. She went to school here. You know, she know how to just navigate the whole thing. And that's how I learned and figured out how to live in America and just fight my way and figure out how to get back here where I am today. 
saying I'm saying we gotta give her some. Yo, shout out to the wife, man. Shout out to all the wives out there saving these men, man. My wife's out here saving my money. Too. Yeah, this one right here can't wash his ass good. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Mrs. Rosenberg. <laughs> also, I want to give a shout out to everyone early. All the YouTube comments that are gonna say that with the hat on, you look like you're related to Jamie Foxx. And I just want to get out of the way early. <laughs> Because the comments minute. are going to be Yo, there. Wait a minute. Yo. Wait a minute. I said that to Jamie one time. We were in Miami, right? And I came to a party. He was he was, um, he was, was hosting too. And they invited me to come through and touch the mic. So I touched the mic. And I'm all excited to meet Jamie Foxx. I touched the mic. And I'm like, yo, shout out Jamie Foxx in the building. Yo, you know, people say I look like Jamie Foxx. Blah, blah, blah. You know, I was trying to be friendly. Funny and shit. Yo, people say I look like Jamie Foxx, you know what I'm saying? I look like, yeah, yeah, yeah. His manager is down there. Yo, yo, come off the mic. Come off the fucking mic. Go on the mic. Come. You're talking too much. I got Jamie Foxx got on the mic and was like, I don't look nothing like that man. I don't I got, know that man. I got security. really mad though. I got really mad though. Oh. Well, 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 yeah, because he was like, he was like looking at me and telling me to shut the f up. Like, yo, well, he was mad. Me, you, to, yeah, Jamie Foxx was mad that you said you look no, like no, not him. Jamie, his, his manager. manager. Okay, I was like, okay. what? What is this all about? So I was like. I, I tried to keep singing. Okay. Uh, give me my credit. I tried to keep singing right. and entertaining. And then, you him out, and then you cussed him out. And then the dude kept doing it. I was like, yo, what the f Yo, you can't be talking to me. I was right on the mic. I was oh, like, you can't be fucking talking to me like that, dude. What's wrong with you? You almost laid out Jamie Foxx's manager in the middle of a performance? <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that. You had I the just had to in the back. stand up. You had the machete yeah, in the but back. I, yeah, 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 but it, you, know, you know, I had to stand up for myself because, you know, I was trying to be, you know, did I you, like Jamie Foxx. Right, I'm a right, big right, fan. Right. Did you ever end up like, talking yo, to Jamie Foxx? Huh? Did you ever end up talking to Jamie Foxx? No, nah, I didn't get a chance to. Jamie was back there, like, trying to calm things down. He was like, <laughs> Fair, this is right. Yo. Yo, Jamie, Jamie, the so you can't be mad at like, Jamie, just nah, his manager. I wasn't mad at. I was mad at the man. He was like trying to. I think there's another layer to the story. What's that? <laughs> I'm saying maybe, maybe there's a chance the manager knows something that both him and Jamie don't know. <laughs> They're brothers. That's no, but you know what happened? I jumped on the yeah, mic so and, 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 and I went in with a high note, and the crowd went. <sighs> On Turn and that's me all on. you needed. And that's and, all you needed. You was happy. Yeah, can you still hit people, that? Can you hit that opening note of Turn Me On? Uh, yeah, kind of sort of. I don't know right now because I'm kind of nervous. No, yeah. I think you can do it. I think you can hit it on the dime. Look like. at this. Look at this. <laughs> I'm in the studio right now. It's cold. I get nervous. Right <laughs> Look, Kevin Little's going to be at On The Reggae and Soaker Tip. Uh, he's joining us along with Bungie Garland and Rupee and yeah. Busy Signal and Sean Paul and Tiffa and Cranium and Conscious and Chow and Bobby Connors and Jabba and Shawnee Culture. So it's going to be a great event September 1st yeah, at the Ford Amphitheater. We appreciate you for coming out to that. Yeah, uh, man. I'm sure the ladies are going to be out there. Well, you know, you... you Ladies, his wife's gonna be there, so understand. Now that. she helped me bring some of them on stage. Don't worry oh, about it. It's go, all man. good. It's all good. Each one, each one. Yo, yeah, yeah. Kevin Little, give it up for him.